then we would like to move on to the next report, which will be given from MLIT, the director of the real estate market division, real estate and construction economy bureau. We would like to kindly ask director at me to provide us with the report on the policy for uh, the market evaluation and, and environmental real estate. May I start? Yes. Well, my name, well, I am the director of the real estate market division. My name is Ni. I work at MLIT. And thank you very much for taking time with us. The time is limited, but if I may, I will try to get started with my presentation. Let me share my screen with you. So uh, today, uh, the time is limited. Therefore, I will try to explain to you about some of the policies that we are doing. And personally, as a person who is in charge, I would also like to uh, share my uh, the thoughts in regards to uh, the issues that we currently face as well. And I might touch upon that point during the panel discussion. So let me project my screen with you. So first and foremost, I would like to explain about the position of the MLA well, in terms of the carbon, in terms of the real estate, especially at, uh, in terms of the CO2. Therefore, uh, at the, well, actually, it actually takes up about uh, the one over a third of the total uh, the carbon emission, meaning that we, it is very quite important. So in terms of the real estate, the ESG is, is quite important. And that's the positioning of the ESG in terms of the real estate. And out of which, at my my division is in charge of other real estates. But of course, there are different types of the real estates, including one for the commercial and the housing. But as for myself, what I am working on is this part. Well, it is 520 trillion yen part. Well, uh, especially in regards to the commerce, uh, the buildings, including the office, I would like, I am in charge as to how we promote the ESG there. So I would like to focus my talk on that point, if I may. So uh, let me move on to the next page. So uh, current, first and foremost, let's take a look at the investment in relation to the ESG in the field of the, uh, the, uh, the real estate in, when, in the last year. Here, uh, as you can see, 541 trillion yen was the ESG related investment out of which for the real estate, 13 trillion yen uh, was uh, just about at the amount in 2000, compared to 2016, OEO, uh, uh, 46 trillion yen uh, out of the 46 trillion yen. 0.41 trillion yen was being invested against real estate. Actually, it as for the real estate from 0.4 to 12.5 uh, trillion yen, it had ex the investment to the real estate had been expanded in relation to the ESG. So expanded by 31 trillion yen. But uh, here, as you can see, uh, well, it still stays uh, at the 2% level against the total, it doesn't mean that we think that it is too small. What matters more is that currently as a whole, well, what is for, what is important that we maintain this. And at the same time, we should try to expand ESG related investment. That's our position. So we would like to maintain at the pace. And for that purpose, what sort of measures do we implement first? I mainly speaking, and to the, please focus to the left at the, well, uh, for uh, the companies at the real estate industry, we talk about uh, the TCFD and also uh, the environment related uh, to the real estate. And uh, we also explain about some of the case examples of the advanced uh, activities as a part of the guidance. Well, in the last year, we have uh, published an addition for, uh, based on uh, the revision to take place for the TCFD, we are going to update. Well, another point uh, is, as you can see to the right, will uh, cover a much wider area. We call it the societal impact real estate in regards to the ESG as a whole. We provided the guidance uh, in March of this year. Well, as you can see written here, well, when you want to think about responding to the ESG, uh, how you should listen to the voices of the community and what sort of logic model would be necessary. Uh, those are uh, the concepts are be provided as a part of the guidance. Now, perhaps we'll, we'll in relation to these guidance, for example, at the, uh, the 
From the standpoint of the people who are involved in this field as a part of the business community, I do not think that this is nothing new. But why is it that we are focusing on this matter in terms of our policy is that well, I mentioned uh, that uh, the ESG investment is being promoted uh, rapidly as a part of the, re uh, the real estate uh, uh, correction, as a part of the uh, 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 as a part of the ESG investment, and this we believe that this is mainly being done uh, in the major companies. But of course, there are many other uh, different types of the companies in the real estate, real estate industry, including SMEs. Meaning that we have to put more, we have to cover the SMEs as well. From that standpoint, well, what sort of uh, what sort of uh, difficulty do they face? For example, they face the shortage of the people, and uh, even if they want to put their effort onto the ESG, they get lost as to what sort of things would be required. There are cases where uh, companies do not know as to what shall be done in the field of the real estate because of uh, the uh, uh, because of the overflow of the information. Therefore, we decided to focus onto the real estate so that we would be able to give an explanation about the TCFT in relation to the real estate. So uh, we are helping people get started with their activities. For that purpose, we are focusing on about this matter as a part of our policy. One another point is related uh, to this. Well, as for uh, the newly built uh, office buildings, because of the, uh, the ESG trend, of we believe that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the ESG-related matters are being covered. But on the other hand, in case of the older buildings, as you can see here, Oh, this is a paper uh, being published by the Zymax, by the way. As you can see, well, it is expected uh, that the older buildings become uh, much older. Therefore, well, we believe uh, that, that there is an, uh, the, the difficulty, uh, especially in regards to these older buildings, as to how they should deal with uh, these older uh, the buildings. Well, what we believe as an amulet is that perhaps, well, well, because uh, so much uh, uh, refurbishment uh, shall be uh, conducted uh, at all at once, uh, probably uh, the cash uh, with, or say uh, the funding available inside the industry would not be sufficient. Therefore, we, uh, by utilizing the framework for securitization, we hope that we would be able to invite in uh, uh, the funding, for example, by 2030, uh, the total amount of the read uh, it shall be expanded to 40 trillion yen from 30 trillion yen right now for the commercial buildings. So within the read, for example, the response against the ESG it shall be embedded. And that's what we would like to focus on to specifically. Uh, here is information as to what we are doing. Uh, currently, together with the Ministry of Environment, we are working together in order to operate the funding and to support uh, the real estate uh, if in terms of uh, the earthquake resistance and environment. With this funding, uh, well, uh, we are providing uh, the mezzanine support uh, to uh, the operators. Policy-wise, in relation to the environmental response, well, you have two minutes available. Thank you. Well, when people be need to refurbish apartments, they face difficulty in and sometimes and when they try to uh, respond to the ESG, they face these benefits. Therefore, by by utilizing uh, this money, we are going to provide uh, the mezzanine support so that we would be able to have more track records. And that's what we do as a government. And at the same time, uh, we hope that the premium and the environmental uh, the value uh, we, we hope that we would be able to confirm the situation about those things. And as a part of that, uh, we are uh, operating the funds. That's the information about the current policy that we adopt. And in terms of the environmental value, which is today's topic, as the national government, we believe that we still have not been able to see uh, the market in the full uh, the matter. We haven't been able to confirm that it is in full effect. But having said that, compared to before, there is a growing awareness throughout the national public that we have to deal with the ESGs. There are much information being provided from a variety of the researches. Well, compared to uh, the, before, we are starting to see uh, that, that there is a premium and it is quite significant. Therefore, we can see that the change is happening. We feel that strongly right now as a national government, first and foremost, well, I talked about well, I talked about the guidance uh, in order to give an explanation about the advanced cases in the private sector. 
that's what we do as a, a provision of the guidance. Uh, but first and for most people that like to accumulate the track record of the premium availability and we would like to find out the logic behind the generation of the premium so that that can be reflected onto the future policy. So at this moment, uh, 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 this is the very point that I have been struggling with. That's the status of the emulate, our ministry. I rushed a bit, but with that, I would like to conclude my explanation. Yusan, thank you very much for your explanation.